So one of the draws of this brand new super cool steel CPM Magnica is that it's supposed to have better corrosion resistance than other steels. Well, on this channel, we don't just take people's word for it. We actually test things. As Bill and I used to say, one test is worth a thousand expert opinions, right? So I am going to test a Max Ace Raptor, a Bradford Guardian 3.2, a Viper Basic 3, and a Hogue Deca, all in CPM Magna Cut, against a Kaiser Clutch and a Cold Steel Pendleton Light Hunter. This is S35VN, and this is 4116 steel. We're going to test them all against corrosion with a mustard test. Mustard is sometimes used by custom knife makers to create a nice kind of colored patina with some corrosion on knives. Uh, and then we're going to do a salt spray resistant test uh, with 5% salt solution, which is a very, very demanding corrosion test. Uh, we're going to do both of them overnight. And then I will show you what the corrosion looks like on these knives when we are done. First up is the mustard test. I'm going to put the mustard on there. I'll leave it overnight. Then I'll wipe it off and show you what it looks like. The mustard test is done and I've washed all of these blades in soap and water. So what you see left on these blades now is corrosion and not mustard. So we'll go through the blades, kind of see what we see. This one, uh, Magna Cut, the Raptor here, you can see some discoloration. I don't see any brown spots or anything, but there is some discoloration. So there is some corrosion on this Magna Cut blade. Here is the Bradford Guardian 3. Uh, you can see that, that stone wash fish finish. A little bit darker of a color on that discoloration. Got some blue in there. Here is the Viper Basic. Uh, this is a Basic 3 in Magna Cut. Uh, so you can see a little bit of discoloration. Uh, and right on the blade edge there, let me get that in focus. There is one little black spot right here. Hard to see. But it is there, yeah, there you can see it. One little black spot, which is corrosion. Uh, again, that's on MagnaCut. Here is S35VN on the Kaiser clutch. Uh, pretty similar to the Raptor. Maybe even a little less, but this is a satin finish instead of the, the bead blast finish, which tends to do a little bit better with corrosion. Here is the Cold Steel 4116. This is actually one of the two best ones. It barely discolored at all. Uh, nice kind of high gloss finish there, uh, and this steel is known well known to hold an edge well. Uh, so you know, fantastic budget steel there. Uh, and then this is the Hogue Deca. It probably did the best, meaning this Magna Cut has the best heat treatment. There is a little bit of kind of a rusty brown there, but it's very light, uh, and I would say this one discolored the least. So now that that mustard test is done, I'm actually going to do a five percent salt water solution. Uh, on these knives. So that is what's coming next. I will go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Most of these I'm going to flip to the other side so that I can do a clean side here. That one I'm going to leave. So I'm going to do 5% salt water solution and then leave it overnight. There is my 5% salt water, uh, and we will leave that and see what it does. It has been overnight, uh, about 14 hours, so I'm going to wipe off these blades now with some water, and we'll see what we've got as far as corrosion. So we'll start with the Max Ace. <clears throat> as I'm wiping this off, you can see there was a little bit of corrosion in the etching here. That is from the tools they use to make that etching and not from the knife itself, so I'm not worried about that. So you can see there's just a little bit of discoloration on the blade, uh, especially like right down here. A little tiny bit of rust in the surface. I don't see anything at all on the edge, so this even too may be uh, from tooling stuff from whatever they use to make the bead blasting. Uh, but overall, very, very good uh, resistance to corrosion there. Just a little bit kind of here and here. Uh, let's look at the Bradford. So right away, you can see there's kind of a spot down there. So let's clean this off. Again, this is tooling marks. That I'm not so sure. Let's clean this off and see what we have. 
<clears throat> okay, so that actually wiped right off. So I'm not sure that was blade corrosion. Uh, very good resistance here. Really nothing to speak of. I'm not sure what the deal was with that little <clears throat> brown spot there. But just wiped off with, so, with uh, plain water here. So nothing really to report there on the Bradford. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic heat treatment and corrosion resistance. Here is the Viper. Let's wipe this one. This one I had a little bit of concern about because it had that spot on the edge from the, from the mustard. Dry it off so you can see there. Uh, so you can see a couple little, if I can catch the light just right, a little kind of faint discoloration spots on there like that. Very small, uh, but they are there. Overall, not a lot. Uh, nothing that would say I wouldn't take this knife you know, in the water, even salt water, uh, and then just wipe it off afterwards and it should be fine. That's, that's quite well done on that heat treatment. So this is S35VN, and this I think will show us quite a difference. Let's wipe that off, and then we'll wipe off. And you can see there was quite a bit of um, spotting there before I wiped off the salt. You can see like a lot along the back there. You can see all those rusting spots. Uh, as I wipe them off, most of that comes right off though. Uh, let's look at the flat of the blade here. So you can see there are a few uh, spots that stayed. There's, yeah, right there you can see there's some, there's some surface pitting a little bit there. Um, so definitely more corrosion on this one than on the Magna Cut blade. So these three are all Magna Cut. This is S35VN. So Magna Cut definitely better there. This is the uh, uh, 416, 4116 uh, stainless steel. This is pretty good. Uh, there's really not anything to speak of there. There was a little bit you could see uh, just kind of surface stuff before I wiped off the salt. So again, this is more closer to a stainless steel, like a kitchen cutlery steel. So you would expect better corrosion resistance on this. It doesn't have the edge retention of some of the others. I will I will do a test on it and put up some numbers there. But really excellent corrosion resistance there. Uh, and finally, we have the Hogue. Now, Hogue is known for doing fantastic heat treatment on their steels uh, and not, you know, getting, getting the maximum edge retention out of their steels. Uh, and predictably... There is absolutely zero rust, even before I wiped it off. Uh, there was nothing. Uh, so, when Magna Cut is properly heat treated uh, and it's done just right, absolutely incredible uh, rust resistance there. But as you've seen with the SPL pack knife, uh, you know, SPL pack knife rested in just regular Greek water. Uh, so, these ones handled salt water. This one probably handled it the worst. There's a little bit of, of corrosion there. It's still quite good, uh, but it's it's not what we were necessarily promised with Magna Cut. <clears throat> uh, all the way over here to the Hodeca, which is absolutely fantastic corrosion resistance uh, and really no rust at all. So you can see from the testing that not everything that you're necessarily told about corrosion is true with Magna Cut. Uh, it makes a great deal of difference how well the Magna Cut was heat treated. Uh, so the Viper did pretty well. Uh, the Hogue Deca definitely did the best. Hogue is known for heat treating their steels very well and it's definitely the case with their Magna Cut. This resisted rust probably the best, definitely the best of the Magna Cut, uh, but the cheap you know, $15 cold steel Pendleton Light Hunter in 4116 uh, actually did the best with corrosion resistance. And 
this holds an edge like the best of these knives. In my uh, edge retention testing, it did 450 plus cuts uh, and it was still holding a great edge. Uh, so just goes to show you that it doesn't always pay to spend the most money. Sometimes the best deals are relatively inexpensive knives.